For staying with the election matters, the Supreme Court of Nigeria has set aside the judgment of the Court of Appeal, Yola Division, which had on November 24 a reinstated Senator Emmanuel Wacha as governorship candidate of the All Progressives Congress in the forthcoming general elections. In a judgment, a five-man panel of the Apex Court set aside the decision of the Court of Appeal and upheld the judgment of the trial which had ordered for a fresh election. Now, the Court of Appeal in Yola had reinstated Wacha as the party's candidate in the state. A two federal high courts in Jalingo and Abuja had at various times nullified the APC governorship primary election. Now, the decision of the appellate court to instate in Boacha was challenged at the apex court by a fellow aspirant, Sabo Kente. Meantime, mixed reactions have begun to draw the Supreme Court's judgment that ordered the APC in Taraba State to conduct fresh governorship primary election. A cross-section of Western to made their positions known to journalists express divergent views, while some argued that with right things in place, the APC will come out as united. Uh, others agreed, or argued rather, that if the national leadership of the party fails to manage the situation, it might escalate to bigger problems against the fortunes of the party. In fact, the Supreme Court has shown Nigerians that we are, we are relying on courts because what they have done today is, uh, honestly speaking, everybody is grateful because they have done the right thing and uh, everybody knows in Taraba, APC is not an organized party to even conduct primary. Everybody knows it. They are not organized. So for us, we know very well that they did not conduct elections or primaries in the state. And even though I am not a member of the party, but I know they did not conduct any primaries in Taraba state. But honestly speaking, they are not organized people, and it will continue like that. They cannot conduct any primary, because they are not organized people. The judgment is, is perfect, and it is this instance that we've been long waiting. Uh, the complainant never said he won at the primaries. He sought for, for justice. He said there was no primaries. And the law, the court stands and remains the eyes of the law. So it's so risen into the complainant and has granted what is worthy. So it's now confirmed not only to Tarabans, to the whole world that there was no primaries. And that has been the cry of Tarabans. So oh, what we are asking for is for the party to do the right thing. If the party does the right thing, there will be no polarization. Because we said there was no primaries. And actually, the whole world, the whole nation knew there was no primaries in Tarawa, APC primaries. We are saying that the party should do the right thing. So that every member of the party will know that justice has been done. And we are happy that the Supreme Court has affirmed that there was no primaries, actually. So we are very happy with this decision of the court. And we pray that the party follows, follows the director of the court to conduct first compromise if, there, if it's according to the law. And let's see who is more popular. So I, well, I hope that uh, the judgment will restore normalcy into the party. All the day, because the party has been polarized since uh, the last uh, primaries that was held, which led to all these uh, litigations that... Uh, just we just seen the end today, but um, the issue there is uh, even uh, the court has, has directed that a fresh primary should be held. It will still will that still uh, restore the unity within the party ahead of the elections? Because if the other side that that that, that lost today now wins again, will these same people will they still you know, will they support whoever wins the, 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 the fresh primary? Or what will happen? So we, I just pray that uh, the national leadership of the party will, you know, will do its best to interfere, to, interfere, to bring sanity into the party. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.